Thanks for joining us today. We're backstage at Brixton Academy, and can you explain to us how you started working with Rodrigo and Gabriella? This has been a fantastic project because a year ago, almost to the day, uh, Rodrigo um, called me and said he'd like me to arrange his uh, new album to be recorded in Cuba. And basically, they said, "Here are our hits. We want Cuban arrangements." So that's fantastic. That was a arranger's dream. And at first, it, that was all it was. Then they asked me to play piano, and now for the tour, they've asked me to be musical director. So it's sort of blossomed very nicely. Amazing. And so, in the actual studio, you had, I believe, thirty a thirteen-piece Cuban orchestra. Is that yeah. right? Yes, that's right. I mean, we were very lucky because we had the pick of the best that were there in Havana. Because Cuban musicians tour a lot. Sure. But, uh, we were in a recording studios and very. Fortitutiously, Los Van Van, who is a very famous Cuban band, were recording in the same studio. Oh, wow. So we took quite a few of those, and that was a special moment for me because I was suddenly uh, writing music for the musicians I'd grown up listening to. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, at the beginning of the tour, the production manager, Mike Taylor, he said rather nervously, you don't want an acoustic piano, do you? And I said, don't worry. You know, I love playing my Steinways, but on a tour with loud guitars, a load of percussion, horns are right next to me in the band. You know, we've got pressured sound checks. It just wouldn't be practical, and unfortunately, to, to ship in a Steinway for every gig. Um, so the V piano offers, number one, very high quality sound, and number two, a direct one. So the front of house engineer has, has something to work with immediately. You know, I've got something in my cans to work with. And um, that, it, it's been a lifesaver for the tour. And we can travel around with it. You know, it's, it's, in, it's on the tour bus, in the trailer. So I get to play the same instrument every gig, which is better in a way than having a real piano, because with a real piano you have to get used to each one. So we develop, I'm developing a relationship with the V piano, so very grateful to have it on board. <laughs> Got the Jupiter 80 that sat on top, yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, you're obviously using it with the VK8 as well. Yeah. Have you had a chance to look at any of the, the sounds on the Jupiter? Well, for the tour, I'm using some JP strings, and I love that analog type thing because we had real strings on the on the uh, on the album, and I thought, am I going to go with string samples or am I just going to go for a high quality string sound? And I didn't want like an FM synthesis type of string thing, just make it sound like we were in the back in the 80s or something. So I wanted that nice warm, it's 70s really, isn't it? It's that warm JP type string thing. And that, I actually use a lot of organ and strings when I'm playing with guitarists because the piano with the hammer sound can, is so similar to the, the sound of a pick on a string. Yeah. You have to actually play very, very sensitively. Um, so having a pad type sound, either organ or strings or pad or something like that, can just balance the sonics of it. Special offer on, which is the new Area 52 Rodrigo Gabriela album, and I have a question for you. And the question is, what is the name of the studio that we recorded this album? It's in Havana, in Cuba. We're not clear about what's the name of the studio. You can provide your answer via the Roland Twitter page, which is Roland underscore UK, and some lucky winner will win a signed copy of this CD as long as you provide the answer through Twitter. <laughs>